First up tonight, the magician will demonstrate a classic illusion that has been performed on television countless times and in live performances all over the world. His assistants do a little dance to get us in the mood. Good job. But no matter how talented they are, he can always use one more. Here she is. Nice. She steps up onto the chair and reclines on a board that is resting between two other chairs. Now another assistant enters. This one is apparently repossessing the furniture. The magician places the girl in a trance as his other assistants wrap her in a sheet that was hanging down from the board. Nighty night. Beneath the board, we can see that the magician is standing on a raised platform so we can see him work his magic. He does some conjuring and the girl rises. The assistants remove the chairs that were supporting the board. She's floating in mid-air. Slowly, the girl continues to rise. The magician motions, and one of the assistants returns with a stainless steel hoop. The magician passes the hoop around the girl once to prove that there are no wires or other supports. She's really floating in the air by magic. He passes the hoop around her a second time, just to be sure, before the assistant takes it away. Now the magician commands the girl in the air to float back down. This is amazing. And we can see there are no wires. He asks the two assistants to return with the chairs. They place them beneath the board just in time to catch it before it floats all the way to the ground. The sheet is removed, and there you have it. A beautiful girl who can levitate by magic. So how did the magician make his lovely assistant levitate before our very eyes? Here's how. When the illusion begins, a board is supported on each end by wooden chairs. The assistant takes her position and is wrapped in a sheet. This sheet conceals the first secret. Hidden behind it is a steel mechanism that is holding up the board. The chairs are merely there for effect. Without the sheet, we can see the mechanism supporting the board and the girl. When the magician steps behind the girl and up onto the platform, his body hides the mechanism from view. But how does he make her rise? The platform contains the next secret. Concealed inside is an electric motor that is connected to a hydraulic piston powerful enough to support the girl. The steel mechanism is attached to the piston, which raises it into the air. The platform's carpeted top contains the next secret. Two switches are hidden beneath the black carpeting. When the magician appears to be conjuring the power to levitate the girl, he's simply turning on the power to the motor. One switch causes the hydraulic piston to rise, the other causes it to lower. With the board attached to the mechanism, how does the magician make it appear that it's unsupported by passing the solid hoop around the girl not once, but twice? The secret here is the design of the steel mechanism. This S-shaped metal tube is connected to the board. On the first pass, the magician slides the ring close to the board and on the inside of the S. When he comes to the end, he slides the part of the ring that is trapped inside the S back around the other side. This frees the ring from the S-shaped support and makes it appear that it is passed completely around the girl. Careful choreography is all it takes to navigate the maze-like support while making it look nonchalant. Since the audience is busy looking for overhead wires, passing the hoop around the girl convinces them she is floating by magic. 
Even I'm about to believe it. Next, the magician steps on the down button, and the hydraulic piston lowers the girl back to her starting position. The chairs are replaced beneath the board, and the illusion is complete. Not so amazing when you know the secrets.